folks. Main man, Lucky Lantern for more. <clears throat> Gruel Ponza action. Let's drive back for some more. Hope you guys are excited for that. I know I am. Um, looking forward to playing some more Ponza and uh, doing well with it. Uh, as I said, my name's Lance, but more importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore. That's my screen name on Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, MTGA, and Twitter. So if you're watching on Twitch, please sir, follow. If you're watching on YouTube, please sir, subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. And you can always join me on my little flock of birds there, old Twitter. Um, so yeah, hope you guys are excited for this. As you can tell, I enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. I play Magic the Gathering. I prefer to play Modern. When I play Modern, I play one of four decks somewhat coherently. Those four decks currently are... Semi Boomer Jund, Grixis Shadow, Abzan. What well, you see is right now, Gruel Ponds Mid Range. Gruel Ponds Mid Range is my favorite deck. It's the deck I play the most. The deck I've done the best with both in paper and in digital. And it's the deck you'll most likely see me playing. Even though this year I did declare that I would be playing Ponza less, but still the most, if that makes any sense. Uh, you might not just see me go on like three month tangents where all I do is play Ponza. I've been playing Ponza now for over a month straight now. And uh, next week I'm going to change it up, having to decide what I'm going to play, and uh, we'll see what that is. <clears throat> and uh, let's take a look at the uh, the weather here. People are always excited here about the weather report. Uh, weather. Weather for Ravensdale. Conditions are cloudy with a temperature of 47 degrees. The wind is blowing from the northeast at 4 miles per hour. And the current is 76%. I can finally move my car today. Uh, I have a Ford... Uh, uh, four-wheel drive truck that I use when it gets real bad, but today was the first day in 18 days my car's been able to move, get out of the snow, so that's good. Uh, Thet Gage is here. He says, get some dubs. What the hell does that mean? Get some dubs? Oh, W's. Okay, I'm like, what? I thought you meant like dubbing like Japanese films or something. The largest piece of the pizza, but a smaller size than before. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much right, Luke. That, that sounds like, yeah, that, that's pretty good accurate. And I understand that well because you're talking about pizza, and I really like pizza. Food-related content I'm all about, usually. I shouldn't say that because people are like, you know, I eat the most boring plain food. I just get, like, food. You know, I'm not like, oh, let me go try this Filipino food. Let me go try this gyro or what the hell it's called. Let me go over here and try this swarma. I'm like, no, fuck that. Me a double quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's. That's what I'm all about. Uh, so we are still at 14 followers on Twitter. We are still at 205 followers on Twitch. We do have one subscriber on YouTube. We are now at 339. So thank you guys very much. So shouts all 14 followers on uh, Twitter. Shouts all 205 followers on Twitch. Shouts all 339 subscribers on YouTube. And of course, a massive shout out to all three, three Twitch subscribers. Going above and beyond the Call of Duty, but give me a little bit of their hard-earned money. I really appreciate it. You don't have to do that. That's so overwhelmingly kind to give someone like me some money to play Magic relatively mediocrely at best. Uh, I just enjoy that you guys come along for the ride. You know, it's uh, you know, a real roller coaster. And we're talking about love roller coaster. Who, who did that song? Ohio Players, I think. I don't know. It's been a long time since I thought about that. Um, anything else i got to talk to you guys about? Um... Uh, not really. The only thing I did do that was interesting was <clears throat> I, uh, for the first time in my life, I've, I've never done this before, I cleaned out my computer. I un unhooked everything from it. I've never done this before in my life, let alone with this computer, my gaming PC, which I have an incredibly powerful gaming PC, and all it does is run MTGO. I think it's a little bit of an overkill, but whatever. Um, I took it all apart. My house is very dusty with baseboard heating, got dogs running everywhere. I'm a hairy guy myself. And, man, there's a lot of dust in there, but I cleaned it all out. It looks a lot better, except for there's a flaw in this computer where the front here, the front, does not come detached. Like, I looked everywhere. I flipped the computer upside down. There is no way for me to detach and get to the front of the fans that are in the front. So it actually looks pretty shitty if you look directly into the fans. You can just see the screens have, like, nasty um, dust coverings on them. I got most of the dust out, but you can still see where there's a lot of dust. So overall, like 95% of the dust is out. But this is unaccessible. I don't know why I designed the case like this. Seems like poor design, but, you know, computer keeps running. So anyways, guys, um, get into the deck here. I think that's what people want to hear about. Um, the computer was running fine before I dusted it out, but hopefully it runs a little bit better. I don't know. I think that's the first time I could see that light in there. That's how dusty it was. I, I, didn't, I couldn't even see the lights flickering in there for the Ethernet cable. But whatever. Um, guys, I took out the Chalice of the Voice because I haven't brought them in really for like six weeks. And I brought them Weather the Storm. 
I love Weather Storm, by the way. Because um, I keep having to deal with Burn, and I'm getting tired of just getting killed by Burn. Now, we all know what that means. We know that that is an automatic thing going to happen now that I'm going to play against Cascade decks and no Burn. Okay? And, uh, you know, I I'm ready. I'm ready to see, like, three Tamur Rhinos today. Weather D's nuts. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, weather the storm. It's, it's. Has Green ever had storm before? Before Modern Horizons one, was that something they gave to Green? Green has had madness. I remember the you know like uh, basking root walla, which I really like how they made the blazing root wall was just red and it didn't even like it wasn't even like it's actually worse right. Because it, Basking Root Wall gets plus one, no, plus two, plus two. Or is it one green, one generic for that? And then Blazing Root Wall gets plus two, plus zero, but I think it's for one red, right? So maybe maybe that's the difference. I don't know. I, I still think I prefer Basking Root Wall. What's the difference, right? Blazing Root Wall, Basking. I, I think Basking Root Wall is better. But whatever, you know, we're not playing Legacy... Hollow Vine. We're playing modern Gruel Ponds and mid range, you know, with pillages and scavenging oozes that nobody plays, I guess, anymore. I, I don't know about that. I see a lot of guys still run the pillage. Scavenging ooze, I think I'm the last guy, but man, scavenging ooze is good sometimes. You know? You need a channel point reward for playing a deck. I, I don't want to do that because I, I, I do not want to be playing random decks. But I do have a subscriber goal. Sprouting Vines, search your library for basic land card, villa card, put in your hand, then shuffle, storm. Okay, they did. Was that from uh, a set older than Modern Horizons 1? Play random decks. Ugh. I don't think I can handle it. My brain, you know. All right. <clears throat> That's a quality hand there. It's a little heavy on lands, but we'll take it. What? I hate when people have Liliana Vest as their avatar. It always makes me so upset. A commander? I don't know if it counts a commander card. I, I, I never really count cards that come in commander. If they, they can't go into, like, standard or something like that. No more Lia, Naya Landfall Zoo. That's, that, I went 0-5 with that deck, but I forced game 3 every single, every single match. And I think I won, like, game 1, like, 3 out of the 5 matches the deck wasn't like horrible horrible it was way better than that bears deck i actually went and found that guy online and told him that was the worst deck i ever played before and he apologized to me he probably was shocked i even went through with it uh, so anyways guys time for the beverage of the day hope you all are excited for this it's the last one guys it's the last one i got it's the last time you hear me talk about it probably till next christmas and if they bring it back but we've got our final can of Mountain Dew Ginger Snap. That's right. we got Mountain Dew Ginger Snap right here. Uh, it's gingerbread man in a can. It's pretty good. Not the best flavor, but I enjoyed it. All right, here we go. Let's get, let's get into it right now. Last one, guys. Here we go. Mm. I'm going to enjoy this last one. All right, yeah, I'm going to keep. I do still have those goals on Twitch, don't I? Oh, let me look here real quick. Oh, boy. Oh, good. It's against Hammer immediately. Uh, let's see here. No, I do not. I took those off. Oh, well. Who cares? I do gotta change something here. Give me a second. So it'd be really quick. Uh... All right, there we go. We're good now. Yeah, maneuver, but hopefully no char belcher. But we do have hammer time, which this is the first hammer I've seen in a while. So this is really bad.
This is still the most played deck on uh, MPG Goldfish, apparently. Uh, I think I want to fetch for a basic forest here. Thin the deck a little bit. Yeah, I don't know if you saw that manure, but I didn't live stream those three matches yesterday. But uh, yeah, getting that uh, Char Belcher match, there was literally, about, what, two minutes of gameplay? It's pretty rough. Show me that hammer. There was no hammer. I am shocked and mildly appa appalled. Okay. Um, do I fetch again for a forest? I don't think so. Maybe just Blood Moon here and knock him off a of mana. I probably should have killed these Mem Knights, but I'll do that next turn. Of course he finds two basic planes. Okay, I'm glad I held the Fury there. <laughs> yeah, turn two, lost game two. Yeah, that's, that's some BS there. There was only a total of five turns taken in that whole match. I mean, it was just like, you've got to be kidding me. Um, man, what the exile with the, uh, bone, with the fury. I mean, it, it's gotta be bone crusher. As painful as that is, it's probably gotta be bone crusher. Yeah, just, these cards are too good just to, to do it. So qu pretty quality fury here, taking out uh, three creatures. Opponent is staring at this. He's not a happy camper, I'm sure. He's probably gonna be a little more angry when this blood raid comes down. Come on, blood raid. Sure, another different blood moon. Why not? Of course, they can still get Lurus still because they have double white now. The artifact theme continues. Yesterday when I played, I had to play against three artifact style decks, really. You know, oh God. It's probably the end of the game now. I need to find Pillage. Yeah. Well, really interesting here. Well, I mean, we cast Fury, it kills one of the two creatures. John Living End or Rakdos Rock? Oh, I, I easily go with Rakdos. Um, John Living End, what the hell? Uh, but I definitely go with Rakdos. Um, that deck almost made it in this year, um, but I chose Grixis Shadow over it. Uh, yeah, I, I just gotta play Fury here. No reason to attack with Blood Braid. Two and two. Probably keep the Stone Forge alive. Wow, they're not even giving me a choice, huh? Why would they do this at this speed? I don't know. Whatever. That's fine. Gleefully kill there. And do nothing. I guess we're just waiting. Oh, yeah, they are, Gage. They are. I, I have them both. Uh, Death Storehouse and the Blood Soak Keep or whatever. And uh, they're incredibly expensive. This is nine, so I wouldn't be able to kill it. I wouldn't trust this anyways. It's probably another hammer. Um, but, yeah, they're like, are they over 30 still? I don't know. Add Luris, Okay.
Come on, Pyro. Something here, bud. That's something. Pillage the hammer. 35 at Star City Games. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. One of them's like five bucks more than the other. Kill the hammer. Swing in for six. Glad I played that Verdant Catacombs. Yeah, I think that's the more expensive one, the red one. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. He top decked a land. Now he's put Colossus Hammer on it. I mean, it's super gross. Oh, he's gotta put the hammer on the Stoneforge Mystic? Why would he do that? This guy's really pushing it here. Maybe I should have kept that alive. Kill this Lurus. Swing in for six. It's a good draw, the Arbor can be a good blocker. Is that five? Yeah, he'd be at three if I wouldn't have blocked there with the Pyro. But I like blocking. All these mystery booster cards, like I don't even know like what's in I, I opened one box of mystery boosters and I got like nothing good. I think I got, act, well, I don't know. Did I get a mana drain out of it? Maybe that was a different, maybe that was double masters or something. All right, well, time to bring in the Cinder Vines and the Force of Vigors. Seems pretty good here, huh, guys? Um, probably Scavenging Ooze out, even though I like being able to fight the graveyards. Yeah, it must have been... Well, obviously it was not OG. I did not pull an original Mana Drain. Um, you know, no, that did not happen. Uh, it sucks taking out the oozes, though. I bring the Force of Vigors. I'm mostly a red deck. Um... It's in Commander Legends. Okay, thank you, Luke. I knew I pulled it from somewhere. I got it. it was like still a hundred dollars. Do you guys remember what set was the first set to have um, Mythics in it? Because I do. I remember people being mad about it. Magic players don't like chain. Uh, what is this? Let's see this, uh, Hammer Time. Uh, I'm probably gonna mulligan this. I mean, it's pretty slow. I guess I'll keep this. Yeah, Shard of Alara. Absolutely right. I remember it. People were disturbed. I, I really don't want to go to five against the deck that's like this. Wow, start off with the uh, Cigar to Zade again. Gross. Why was it a dumb decision, Gage? Like, what? It's still one of those guys angry about it? My favorite angry lore that no one remembers about anymore is when they made Planeswalkers. Like, people were so upset when they made Planeswalkers. Like, people actually felt offended. Because the story was always that we... Like, right now, I'm a Planeswalker. I, I'm, I'm summoning an Arbor Elf. I'm Planeswalking. Then they made the Planeswalker cards. We were like, oh, I thought we were the Planeswalkers. I thought we were the focus of the game, not these cards. But 
I took it as like, well, I am so powerful as a magic player that I'm commanding extremely powerful planeswalkers. That's how powerful I am. Wizards made me even feel even more important. Yeah, Charge of Alara was the first one with the Mythic Rare. Opponent is hanging out. And I remember um, Future Sight. I was, this was the last set I think I was in high school was Future Sight. And I remember uh, I actually pulled the Tarmogoyf. And I was reading, I was like, what the hell's a Planeswalker card? Because I... I, I didn't, uh, I, I know, I know, Luke, it doesn't make any sense. Like, I remember, I remember controlling Soren. Uh, I had a Soren Planeswalker. And in the story, like, literally, you know, they release those stories on Magic, on, you know, Wizard of the Coast Online or whatever, where you can read the lore. Like, I'm controlling Soren, and the newest article they had written was Soren, how he could just basically point at people and turn them into, like, uh, vampire slaves. Like, I was like, dude, I'm controlling this planeswalker. Think of how powerful I must be to control this planeswalker that just points to people, turns them into vampires. It's like crazy. Um, but I, yeah, I remember when I pulled the Tarmogoyf, I was like, what the hell is a planeswalker? What is that? Because I, I, back then, when I was in high school, I didn't pay attention to preview cards or whatever. I literally had no idea cards got previews until like, I don't know, like 2010 or something. Um... And, uh, you know, so I got the Goyf, and I was like, this card doesn't seem very good. And that's what most of the consensus was at the time. We were like, eh, this card's not great. It was a rare, I think, even back then. You know, how little did we know? Well, that's getting stomped. It's getting stomped hard. Okay. Um... So I'm kind of down with stomping during my turn because you'd hate to have some stupid happen where they have double Colossus Hammer and like, you know, that could just be a disaster. So yeah, I'm just going to take the two here and stomp now. And then swing for one. I have a lot of fond memories of like, uh, so I think we need to pillage that right now, because he's, yeah, I, I think I just need to pillage it immediately. Let's not even mess around here. But I have fond memories of the whole Guilds of Ravnica, that block, um, you know, I look back at the cards, they're not even that crazy, most of them. But, you know, I was real impressionable then. I was like, well, how old was I when that set came out? Like 15, 16? And, uh, you know, that's when I started really, you know, starting to understand the concept of the game, you know. When I started, like, figuring out, oh, this is strategy and stuff. Yeah, City of Guild, City of Guild. And then it was, what, <clears throat> Guild Pack and then Dissension. And, uh... Just uh, had a lot of good times with that set. Are you an Ad Luris? Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright, now, now I need to think about do I want to play a Blood Raid Elf here? I think so. Since now I can hold back an Arbor Elf for a blocker. Come on, Blood Raid! Lightning Bolt, absolutely. Right there. Pow. Boom. Now I can swing with Bolt. Yes. Swing with Bolt. I don't have haste. There's probably going to be Luris playing for Ornithopter. I would assume. How quickly he taps for this Luris. Just reckless greed. 
zero fucks being given. Cybernetic Revolution is the set that destroyed Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, in, in some ways. Um, because having Cyber Dragon get to be special summoned as a 2100 attacker for free if your opponent just controlled a monster was, like, so disturbingly good at the time. And it, it, it like, there was already a power creep. That's how Yu-Gi-Oh! deals with, they don't have a rotating standard list like Pokemon and Magic. What they do is they just constantly power creep forever. So a card that's the best card you've ever seen for it, like literally it is, like it is the greatest card ever made today in less than two years. It'll be so obsolete because a card that used to say draw two, discard one. Now there's a card that says draw three, discard two. You know, I mean, that's a bad example, but it's the way it is. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do Blood Raid Elf again and see if I can't find Lightning Bolt again. Come on, Blood Raid. I'm asking a lot. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, there's no reason to not pick up here. Uh, I'm going to swim with both. Because they had to make the banlist in Yu-Gi-Oh! what, after Invasion of Chaos, I think? Is he going to swing here with Lurus? Oh, I see. They must have two Colossus Hammers. Probably got two of them here. There's one. There's two. All right. Well, I just failed to figure that out, I guess. Even though I said it earlier. That's my bad. Like, you know, I, I said earlier they probably had two hammers. And sometimes I hate being right. I still almost got him. I didn't start with a very good hand. It almost looked like he sighted out Urza's Saga. Uh, yeah, I can keep this, I guess. Hopefully nothing too crazy. I hate Hammer too. It's a stupid deck. Okay, that's better than how he's been starting with the uh, Cigardas Aid. This is Cigardas Aid now. Wow, he's had Cigardas Aid motherfucking all three turn ones. That's so disgusting. That's so gross. Where is Cindervise and Force of Vigor? I did bring those in. Where the hell have they been? It's like that one song. I need to get a forest here, actually. Um, BYOB. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be a little while if I can play that. That makes sense. Um, you know, where the fuck are you? Like, where are these cards? I know they're here somewhere. I think he cited out his Urza Saga. Some players will do that. They, they just, if they know I have Blood Moon, they're like, I, I don't want to play this. S 
system of a down. That's right. I haven't thought about that literally in forever. Yep. Okay, we let him swing here. Look at this man. Look at this madman. No. Uh, well, obviously we go like this, and then I think we just Blood Moon here. I think that's probably the safest thing to do, because I'm sure they still have their uh, Blink Moth. <sighs> Now, I could pillage the Colossus Hammer. I'm going to risk it and put Blood Moon out. Hopefully, I have another hammer. Even if they do, I do have pillage. So they had to have, th yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's Ink Moth right there. They'd have to have what? I guess they have Pure Steel Paladin here, and of course they do. They don't have enough artifacts, though. Now they do. Fuck, come on. The fuck is that shit? I have to use my entire hand here to stop, to get rid of this board, and they can just get Luris. And they're going to draw a card. Oh my god. This is fucking horrible. If what are the odds here? Okay, let, let, let's think here. I pillage the Colossus Hammer. Right. Nah, I'm too close to death still. Pillage the Colossus Hammer. Take four, maybe live, and then fury. Alternatively, I can just, I do want to try and keep Season Pyro. So he, then he can add Luris to hand. I'm just really top decking there for my life. Results will be the same, though, if I just... And I'll be at even lower life. So yeah, I think we go pillage here. Pay the red. And then evoke. All right. Oh, shit, the Stone Forge still lives. I forgot it had two. I sh well, I guess it didn't matter. I forgot. Because I couldn't kill anything, everything anyways, so we'll see. At least Stone Forge has to tap.
Need help, Dak. Oh my god, top deck of Pyro. That's insane. And a Cinder Vines. I can't cast it, though. Fuck. <sighs> okay. Interesting. He didn't cast the Colossus Hammer. You think he would have put it on something? I would have had to block. Uh, maybe he thought he could do it at instant speed. I don't know. What's going on here? What am I missing? Oh, no, I am dead. Yeah, because the cigar is aid. Yep. Because cigar is aid. He can cast him at instant. That's right. All right. Well, I immediately lose to hammer time. Fuck this deck, man. Fuck. Such poor fucking gameplay. You gotta be fucking kidding me. So, yeah, I would have died anyways if I had done the other play, right? If I would have left Fury, if I just did a pillage, I've been at, been at, what, two? Yeah, I would have died anyway, so it didn't matter. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Gunshot blast the forehead. Just put it right on up. Doesn't matter what you do, folks, a lot of times. It's just you're going to lose the decks like that. You're going to lose with players who don't really want to play the game. They just want to play solitaire. Um, you know you know my normal rant by now. They're not good players. Probably not even good people, honestly. Yep. Another Luris. Okay. Mm. Do we just exile this right now? What are the odds that... Yeah, I, th I think I like doing it. Let's get this Ragavan out of here. Cast Arbor Elf. And then try to rebuild with Pyromancer next turn. God damn. I always run into the most hateful shit. Like I literally do. So this would be some sort of prowess or something. <laughs> All right, well, fuck. God damn it. Fuck. Fuck.
I think I wait and see if I can... Uh... I'm, I'm going to try this, guys. I'm going to try and Fury during their turn. Or during my next turn, if I can live long enough. I'm going to take a shit ton of damage here, probably. Or not. Interesting. This is so... I bet you this won't kill any of them. I bet you what's going to happen, I'm going to get bolted here, and they're all going to survive. But we still go for it. Right? I, I don't think it's smart for me to put four damage on one. Is that smart? Put four damage on the Soul Scar Mage? Does that make any sense? It's a guaranteed way to kill one, I hope, unless he's got gut shot. Or mutagenic growth. I guess. Maybe that was wrong, because he hasn't been blasting me with anything. Wow, Path of Exile. I haven't seen one of these in a little while. Well, I should have killed two. Yep. I was too scared. All right, you didn't find a land. I found a land. How much mana do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, <coughs> three, six, seven. So I can do Chandra. Go down to eight here. I think it's better for me just to kill one of these, right? See if I can survive. Chandra down, I'm at seven. Kill it, it doesn't mean any good. Well, maybe it does. I couldn't cast it anyways, so. That definitely does something. Yeah, I think we just evoke here. No gut shot, please. All right. Man, this guy's got a lot of creatures. He's got, like, almost all of them. All right. Just hanging on here. Where's Scavenging Ooze? Absurd. <laughs> That's probably the end of the game. At least I can't get Luris no more. 
Maybe they're holding white cards. I don't know. All right, I'm going to five. Blood Braid. Blood Braid, how about you find Scavenging Ooze? Clothis is pretty good. Just sit here. Come on. Wow. Jeez. Okay. Pillage out. Tor terrible. What Blood Moon out. Uh, weather the Storm coming in. Here's Weather. Immediately useful. And Obstant Baylog. There we go. So we got like Boros Prowess. Modern Showcase Prestige. This man's a, a guy who really enjoys his modern. I enjoy my modern too. I'm just not very good at it, right? I was reading about Aspiring Spike. I wasn't really reading about it. There was a discussion about it. Nothing negative, but another different content creator that I watch a little bit here and there uh, complained about how he can't keep up with Aspiring Spike multiple different ways because he doesn't have the time to play that much. I guess Aspiring Spike streams Magic for 10 hours, and then once he turns off the stream, he plays for another five hours. He plays five hours um, just himself having fun and whatever. Uh, I wonder if I should bolt this right away. He kept what's ever on top, so he likes it a lot. <clears throat> uh, I, I think I'm down with just playing Arbor Elf. Lava Dart, of course. That's not that bad of a start for me so far. Mary, what could have be happened? Looks like it might be getting worse. Keeps leaving cards on top. Okay. So we need to have our realm survive. Okay. All right. Yes. Looking forward to bolting this Dragon Rage Chandler. Not gonna lie. <coughs> I hope I can. I should be able to. Think he's running Spell Pierce? Oh boy. Well, at least that gets him off Delirium. Hell, I wonder if I should just... Does it now? Why? Why don't I just take this one and save this bolt for later? I think I'm just going to take the one unless he gets delirium again. What doesn't he have in? Doesn't have an instant. So something tells me there's an instant in there. It's 
So I think I want to go like 3 1. Like that. I guess we could go like that. Well, no, that doesn't make any sense. Hold up here. Getting confused. Because he can play one. He can play an instant to pump his Dragon Rage channel up to a 3-3. A, a three, three. And yeah, if I did it that way, they just all they pretty much all survive except the Ragavan. So we'll just do like that. I think this is the smartest way to do it. And uh, we will wait. Yeah, they could have a dart in hand too. Yeah, you're right. Um, and yeah, see if they want to do an instant now. They do not. I will take the one, and then uh, I'm kind of in a precarious situation here. All right, I'm going to play this tapped and probably fire off Wet of the Storm next turn. Because I really do want, you know, to get some value out of this card, but I may not be able to. As Luris, I guess we'll still just sit here. Okay, get Bolt. That's some pretty good value there. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely Bolt the Luris. Because I would assume Luris is, if he gets another land, he's going to go nuts here. So just keep swinging for one? Why in the fuck? Oh, that's why. Hmm. Starting to get dangerous. He can't actually cast Lurus. I just realized that. He can't cast the Lurus. So, yeah, I think we just bolt. Uh, we bolt this Swiss Spear. Because this one's already at three. So, we want to bolt this one. And then, uh, yeah, weather the storm. Nice. Gain 12. Yeah, bolt weather. Yeah. I had to think a little bit. I want to make sure I didn't bolt this one. They just bolt me in response, and my bolt wouldn't do anything. Even though I would have gained three more life, but there'd be one more Swiss Spear on the field. <sighs> yeah, I think we just bolt here again. <coughs> and see if I can't, you know, get something going. No, it doesn't want me to. It's saying hold everything. Oh, God. Come on. Now I wish I had held that bolt. Fuck. That a huge mistake. Huge mistake. I should have held bolt. Yes, he took a wooded foothills. But now I can get Luris. Dude. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my God. I, I want to keep this weather storm too. I guess. I, I guess. Two 
Maybe Pyro is the right option. I hate doing this, but it is what it is. Okay, that was pretty good. You're right, Luke. I'm glad that yeah, I was thinking the same thing you just said, that, it, you know, they're just going to keep dashing that. Sure. Don't mind if I do with the Fury next turn. Plus, this stupid token can stop the, uh, can stop the Ragavan dash. That did work out well. How about that, Manure? But that was a quality-ass, um, uh, Season Pyro there. I did not top deck two more lands. The opponent helped me, too. Gave me a, gave me a basic mountain for my Season Pyro. It's just, that Season Pyro is about as good as you could ever hope for. That is annoying, that thing has Delirium. Not much I can do about that, though. So the plan, folks, here is just for me to uh, kill this Lurus and then just get real nasty and just... Uh, I guess I could put one damage on this. I put two damage and then swing with the token. No, that's stupid. That's stupid. Just, just kill this thing. Three, yeah, just can't do it. Put two, two, yeah, ain't gonna work. Just give it all four. Get it out of here. And then here we are, still on blocking duty against uh, the Ragavan. And now we're just gonna play Bloodbraid Elf as much as I can. Bolts Fury. I'm almost out of Bolts. I need, I have one more. I still have two Bone Crusher Giants. I still have Chandra. I still have two Furies, right? Yeah, two Furies. Two Season Pyros. Uh, yeah. I still have two Baylocks. I still have the Clothuses. I still have Scavenging Ooze. There's a Season Pyro. All right, Blood Raid number one. Come on. Some good. Arbor Elf. That's not great. If I swing, we know one of the cards left is Ragavan. It is a monkey blocker. Do I dare get aggressive here? I'm going to get aggressive. They're at nine. Okay, I'll take it. Did he put Lightning Bolt in the graveyard? Wow. Is that right? No, he put it on top. Whatever it was, he put it on top. Put wear and tear into his graveyard. That's interesting. Draws a card. So the last card he's got left in hand is a Ragavan. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take the five. I will go to twelve. Find that land that is not enough for Bloodbraid and Pyro. Come on, Bloodbraid, something here. Clothus. That's kind of something. We just sit here, not doing shit. Come and get me. That's getting pretty rough. He should probably throw out that Ragavan. Yeah, he does. So I need to go after these, what, Mishra's Baubles? 
got three artifacts. One, two, three, four, five. How many sorceries does he have? One, two, three. So it's Mistress Baubles and sorceries are his lowest count. All right, I'm going to eight. Funny enough, that sprawl is going to turn Clothus into a creature. Uh, so yeah, Mistress Bobble. Red. Pyro. How about another different Pyro? Okay, um, got a swing here, I feel. Swing with these. Okay, well, I'm at 10. Gonna go down to four. Can't really fetch, because I might die to a bolt if I fetch. Prismatic ending. He top deck prismatic ending, folks. Can you fucking dig it? Can you believe that trash? Can you believe that filth? That that is what he top decks. So he has to swing here. This is only six damage. Oh my god. All right. At four. I can't fetch, because what if I find, well, if I find Lightning Bolt, Chandra, Stomp, I just win, right? So, yeah, I think I will fetch. Here we go. Ah, it's not enough! It's not enough! No! God damn it! Oh, God. I lost because I fetched, but I found the fury because I fetched. I, I just can't believe the opponent top decked the prismatic ending. I really can't, guys. I just, I, I cannot believe that's what happened. I have died so many times to top deck prismatic ending. So this is only six damage. Where was Scavenging Ooze? I, I, I just don't get it. Like, where has that card been? Unreal. Unreal how lucky opponents are sometimes. They manage to get the Prismatic Ending. I cannot believe that. And I, I didn't send that one token. <clears throat> I mean, they would have blocked the token. So I don't want to hear anybody being like, oh, they, they, you should have sent that one token. They would have blocked it with the with their one Dragon Rage Chandler. Unreal. Just absolutely unreal. These shit these shitholes I find myself in. That was his only out was Clothis. I guess he's got Path to Exiles, too. Maybe I should bring in Endurance. But I really don't want to bring in Endurance, because Endurance will just recycle all these, like, gas cards they have. They can win without the Dragon Rage Chandler. I mean, that's this is the problem we got here. 
Blood Moon still looks good. I mean, if Blood Moon was on the field, he would have never been able to prismatic ending the Clothis. Just terrible. I mean, just absolutely terrible. No breaks shall ever be caught. Uh, can't keep a one lander here. I said I can't keep a one lander. We're going to five. We've lost this. Look at this, guys. Look at this motherfucking situation. Look at this motherfucking situation you're looking at right now. I want you to look at it. I want you to feel it. I want you to feel it deep in your reproductive organs about how fucking bad this is. That's three seven-card hands with one land each time. This arguably is the best the best of those seven card hands with one land because it does have scavenging ooze it's got bone crusher giant it's got weather the storm but i gotta put two back which would probably mean i'm going to four fuck it here we go there we are Well, it can only be up from here, right? I always like fetching when the opponents do that. That way they at least don't know what card I'm top decking. High octane shit right here. First time we've seen him play a blue card. <clears throat> so I what the blue man was for, but this makes sense. Sacred Foundry was the card exiled. All right, I mean, opponent's not doing anything either. They just have six cards in hand to my one forest. I guess if we're going to have a card, I might lose that one. Looks like he might go off this turn. No, adds Luris. All right. How about Fury? It's all right. Actually, it's not all right. Because they can just clamp, cast... Luris. You guys want to do double red here or just plus? Cast Luris. If they have another land in hand, they dash Ragavan. That's. Fuck, I don't know. Nope. This guy plays so strangely. 
He, he refuses to unload. He just plays so slow for this deck. I'm, like, just confused. Like, he just doesn't do anything. I mean, look at this. What is this gameplay? How can he play this deck this way? He does nothing. I'm gonna gain at least 12 life. See what he steals from me. It's another land, okay. All right, deck, just about anything will be good here. All right, that's a start. I actually want to keep that green up. Come on, Blood Braid. Harper Elf. I'm probably going to lose the time here. Well, you know, I mean, if I could just find one singular fury, I mean, how many lands do I have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of 16, exactly half. Probably gonna take a fury here. Takes a bolt, he should bolt me. This pathetic showing. I mean, it's just pathetic. It's just one of the worst displays I've ever seen this deck have. Another different Arbor Elf. It doesn't do anything because there's fucking a Lava Dart. Deck sucks ass sometimes. It can't do shit. It literally does nothing. I need a lot of stuff. E even that wouldn't have been good enough. A bolt or a stomp. I mean, yeah, I would have killed the Lurus. But he's got so much stuff here that it just doesn't matter. I mean, this deck sucks huge ass sometimes. It went 4-1 in the last league. We're going to go about 0-5 today because it's just not doing anything. I had to mull down to 4 just to find a, a hand that was playable. And then I proceeded to draw 4 lands straight. I mean, this has to be one of the worst decks you can play and hope to win anything with. I mean, it's it, it's got to be up there with, among the worst decks that I actually play and try to be decent with. It doesn't even matter. I, I block this Ragavan, right? You block the Ragavan. Oh, I guess he already did use Mistress Bubble. He's got a Lava Dart, right? Yeah, he's got Lava Dart. It's 5, 8, 11, 13. That's game. That's exactly game. Wow, good job, deck. Mull down to four to get a playable hand. And, uh, and then only draw lands. There was another Blood Raid. That would have been a Season Pyro, the Clothis. I mean... What can you do except, you know, 
accept fate and hope that you get hit by a tractor trailer tomorrow, you know? I mean, that's really all you can do. Probably better than Boomer Jund. I don't know. Maybe. At least Boomer Jund, I can thought seize. At least try to disrupt their hand. With this deck, I'm just like, play whatever you want. You're good. The Chandra, I couldn't have done anything with. I would If I would have minus... <clears throat> think about how bad this play would have been. If I would have minus the Chandra onto that onto that um, Monastery Swiss Spear, the opponent would have just played Lurus, played the same Swiss Spear from his graveyard, and attacked that same um, Chandra. It was just a disaster. Uh, keep just on the strength of the Renin Six. And hope it resolves. This Boros Burn. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I guess we can still kill this with, uh, with Ren here. There we go. Now let's see if they can dash another Ragavan. That's always my favorite. You kill that one with Ren, and then here comes a dashed Ragavan. Um, I'm pretty down to kill, I mean, Blood Moon here. Maybe pillage that source of white. Oh, it's this deck. <clears throat> this deck has become popular, this Fervent Champion. Yeah, I think we just pillage the planes and hope that's enough. Seems like some sweet fury action there. Uh, yeah, fury, exiling bolt. And I'll play Ooze. Try to slowly empty this hand. There is a land, so I can play Bloodbraid off next turn if I want. All right. So we got him. Um, kind of a weird match here because it's like they want to play Artifacts, so they have the per Fervent Champion. So I don't really know if there's anything I really want to even bring in because the deck seems pretty... I probably want to take out a couple Blood Moons, right? I take a couple of those out. And then, you know, maybe bring in Force of Vigor or Cinder Vines. I'll try Force of Vigor. Because I don't want to be, because they're going to bring in uh, the Swords for sure. So this is just like <coughs> Boros Stoneblade, I think it is. Yep, looking good. All right.
Okay, could really use Arbor Elf to live here. Well, yeah. This thing has what? Equip ability, activate the target cost three less. Okay. What's up, DJ? It's going relatively poor. I'm 0 and 2. Um, Jesus. The, uh, wow. The, um, Opponents have gotten pretty lucky against me, like normal. Like, literally, I was going to win the game, but the opponent top decked Prismatic Ending to get rid of my Clothis, and then he won from there, and, you know, I can't get lucky myself. Um, or I have been getting lucky, they've just been more lucky than me, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, just Blood Moon him here. This is a real problem, this stupid Forge Tender. But it's been good. I mean, at least I forced game three in every single one. Yeah, that's pretty rough. What does this do? Gain three life, turn on target creature you call from your graveyard to your hand. Well, he gains three life, but he has no creature to return. So here we're going to force the Forge Tender to go away to kill, to stop my Fury. And luckily I got a great card to pitch. <laughs> Four damage right there. And unfortunately, they can actually pick up again, right? This is says first strike. So what I need to do actually is play Clothis here and try to desperately block this thing so they can't pick this back up. This just has to deal damage, right? Yes. So hopefully Arbor Elf can survive and block this damn thing. Throw yourself under the bus. Yes. Yes. The plan worked, guys. Got to eat this now. Woo! Alright, it's blood raid time. Season Pyro? Yes! Oh my god, yes. Oh, and Ooze? Fuck yeah. Why don't I just send the Clothis? Yeah, I'm gonna send it. And if we have to, we'll eat my Wooded Foothills to have Fury come out as a creature. How you been doing, DJ? If you're still there. Hoping things are going good for you. Why well, has the sword of light and shadow? We can't have another forge tender. There you go. I went 4-1 and one in the last league with Ponza. It just shows you how streaky it is, you know. Um, and they were tough games. I barely got there <clears throat> every time. So, yeah, I'm going to eat my Wooded Foothills. Name Red. Let's uh, blast this thing. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, I finally get a win. Finally defeated the uh, an opponent today. Well, maybe I'll finish this league three and two. Okay. Maybe that's possible. Yeah, that sounds all right. I mean, it's only one green, right? So I think that's okay. It's just kind of a weird card to cascade into. But even then, it might be all right. Norbutt is redeemed a sugary beverage sip. <coughs> Toast to victory, I guess. All right. That last match... That last match only took 10 minutes. Don't let that dew get flat. I've drank warm dew before. Look at this. This could be a perfect storm against blue eye control. I assume it's blue eye control. I've drank warm flat dew before. I have. The only thing I can't drink like warm is like beer, like it's just so rough trying to drink that warm. You know, it's like, oh God, it's just actually, just it's terrible. Okay, let's see if there's a spreading seas here. That's always opponent's favorites here is the spreading seas. Come on, I'm ready. Show me that spreading seas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that's the good shit right there. That's quality. All right, time to throw this into the face. Try to throw this blood moon into the face of some clear and obvious counter spell, but we'll do it. Uh, basic forest. All right, well, I can win this war right now. I've got pretty good cards in hand. They keep doing that. This blue man is working out. Blood Raid finds Arbor Elf. Not the best hit. They draw two cards, okay. They got a path exile here or something. No, they just need cards. So waiting for Jace or Big Teferi, one of the two. <clears throat> probably Big Teferi here. I don't know, Big Teferi, what would that even do? Probably a solitude. That's probably what's gonna happen here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six mana. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Cascade and hold up. Yeah, I'm going to Cascade and uh, try to stomp on a Solitude. I bet that's what's happening. I guess I'll just stomp on them right now. Yeah, maybe I'll play the Bone Crusher Giant. No, because that's uh, Damnation. Or not damnation. Whatever you call it. Uh, Wrath of God. Here it comes. The Solitude. They better not have, like, force negation here. I'd be like, God damn. That is a hateful man. Okay, they didn't. All right. They have a lot of mana. Six mana against my six mana. Okay. Kind of rude. All right. 
again. I'm going to lose all my green mana. Let's see if I can figure this out. No, no, no. I, I, I can I play Ren and Six here. What am I talking about? Ren and Six. Grab Windswept Heath. Play Windswept Heath. Fetch for a forest. Blood Moon. There we go. Thank God I held that Ren the entire game. That was in my opening hand. I held it the entire match or game. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh... Play Pyro here. They cannot counterspell it. It's important to note that. Draw Trash. That's all right. So here I need to pick up Windswept Heath again. I need to play it so then I can play a... I, I guess I didn't have to. That was kind of stupid, but... Whatever. Um, Bone Crusher, Arbor Elf. Oh boy. So I can read the second planes or the second island. What happened? Oh, I got rid of Blood Moon. Jesus. These prismatic endings are so powerful against me. The constant prismatic endings. And that shit, too. I mean, what the fuck? What in the hell? No lightning bolts yet. As well. What am I doing? I don't need that much mana. All right. Remember, I had a, a Ren Emblem against Blue Eye Control last time I played against him, and it didn't matter. I even had Lightning Bolt. So I'm really starting to wonder if, if this is even a winnable match. Like, Prismatic Ending has ruined this deck. I mean, Ponza. I mean, look at this. I mean, I just, I can't compete with this card. It's just that powerful of a card. I just, I really, really, really struggle against that card. It's unreasonably good against me because it used to be if I put out a utopia sprawl I basically was guaranteed to have three mana on turn um look at these prismatic endings look at them guys look at these I mean what in the fuck are you supposed to do So fairy's almost at ultimate. Yeah, you make tokens, but I mean, this is a really slow clock. And I'm not even sure if I can get there. Yeah, especially, I, I have no more fetchable lands. I have no more fetchable lands. The Teferi is probably going to emblem. I mean, we have to swing at player. Swinging at Teferi doesn't make any sense. I have no more fetchable lands. We swing two at them. Surprised they didn't make a 1 1 shark. I am shooketh that they didn't. <coughs> I 
I mean, he could also minus onto the token, too, to slow down the clock even further. Um, he's got Celestial Colonnade, too, um, that can block him. He adds Kahira, probably going to play Kahira here. Um, I need a lot of help. Um, I need to not draw a land. How many lands are out of the deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have six lands left in the deck. Yes, yeah, six lands. Uh, does this even resolve? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I have fifteen lands. Am I doing this count right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I've got five lands left, so everything I draw after this should be pretty decent. So what to do here? I think I like going, this colony, can it fire up? No. Uh, I think I like trying to go, um, you know. Uh, Fury and uh, see what happens. You know, if it does, probably two damage here and two damage there. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. What happened there? Where's that shark? Where's the shark? Here it comes. Oh, it's a scry too. All right, he'll find the sharks now. Like, where the fuck is the sharks? They always got these things. They put two on the bottom, so I guess there was no sharks there. All right, here we go. I mean, he's still got a colonnade. He ain't dead yet. If I could find lightning bolt, do I have I used the lightning bolt yet? No, there's still four lightning bolts left in the deck. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I have five lands left in the deck. The odds of me getting a land should be pretty slim here. Five of thirty-three are lands. That means twenty-eight of thirty-three are non-lands. Now we have to remember that I also have sprawls and arbor elves, for those of you keeping track. And uh, those are basically lands, so I still have quite a few of those left, right? I have two Arbor Elves left and three Sprawls left. So basically I have, that is a total of, what, what did I say? Three Sprawls, two, that's another, so I basically got ten bad draws here. That's not one of them. Okay. Look at all this blue mana I have. Just use it all, just fuck it, just use my blue mana. It's hilarious. I don't need that much, though. There we go. Come on, Blood Raid! Clothis, all right. That's pretty good. Yes! <laughs> Getting 15 of 20 lands in half your deck is pretty, pretty intense. But I'm glad I got through there. Wow. Okay, um, blue-white control. Uh, I definitely like taking the sprawls out. They just don't do anything in this. They just, the game goes long, and you just don't want to be top-decking more crap. Uh, I do like bringing an endurance, though, just as a, as a, a flash creature. And I don't dislike cinder vines at all, because the games go long. It can deal damage over time. It can even kill a, a shark type when they decide to make it an enchantment. Um, so, yeah, we'll go with that. Azorius Control. What, what faction has the coolest name? What guild? I've always been kind of partial to, like, Rakdos. Sounds kind of cool. Golgari doesn't sound bad. <coughs> I can't keep this hand. Um... I guess I can try this.
Yeah, Golgari. Um, we both play Tap Shockland. Is it not so great? Yeah, is it's kind of rough because it sounds like is it? Like you can always make jokes with it. Gruel is like semi rough, but sometimes it's kind of cool. Like you can be like, this is grueling. Yeah, I, I like saying that. Um, but Gruul is pretty bad. I think Rakdos and Golgari are my favorite of the names, at least. Boros is kind of nice. Simic, I'm not a big fan of. I'm just talking about names, folks. Uh, the color combinations, obviously, Gruul, Golgari, Rakdos, Boros. I guess I like all the ones that are good, too. <laughs> Uh, but no, that wouldn't be true, because Simic was, like, an insane color combination for the last couple of years. Celestnia, yeah, that's the toughest one to say, Azorius and Celestnia. Uh, <clears throat> I guess we drop a Cinder Vines. I mean, I really probably shouldn't be doing this. I should be trying to get a, you know, force another land here, but we'll see. He's probably going to counter this. But if he wants to counter a Cinder Vines, I mean, that's okay. A lot better cards he could be countering than this. Just got to find that third land, and then we have been unlocked. I can easily kill a Teferi here, so that's not really a concern. Looks like it's going to be tough here. Looks like uh, I went from having 15 of 20 lands to going to be 2 of 20 lands, about 15 cards deep. I mean, as soon as they get a spreading seize, the game's over, right? I mean, I'm sure that's what they're cycling for here. Trying to find that spreading seize. You should swing. Why give up one free point of damage? There you go. All right. He has a life lead for a blue-white control player. All righty. Uh, again, as soon as that spreading seize comes down, it's relatively over. I guess it's not. It's not completely over. <coughs> I mean, them hitting the stomping ground is... I, yeah, I guess that would probably be over, but... Having this endurance gives me a little bit of hope. We'll take care of that. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess this gets countered. Um, Fury gonna exile. Jesus, I don't even know. Uh, I guess Bloodbraid Elf. Okay, yeah, two. Making sure it said two. Uh, 
Uh, where's that third land, guys? I mean, remember last game I had so many lands? Where are they now? Still can't get them. How can you have this different of an outcome? How is it possible to have such an extreme the other way in the very next game against the same opponent? How is this possible to have it this way? Like, how did this happen? Where did this come from? Why is it this way? How can you go from having 15 of 20 lands um, in less than half of your deck out, right? I, I only had 29 cards out of the deck. Um, how can it be? And then here I am sitting with my two lands I started with, unable to do anything. There is another land. So everything I play is going to get countered. <coughs> I cannot flash in endurance. Um, so I guess we just start with Blood Moon. It's the least important of them. He may not even give a damn about Blood Moon. He might be like, whatever. Yeah, he don't care. That's fine. You think he'd bounce it? Just do it again? Yep. I think I'm just going to scoop here. I mean, it's just, what am I playing for? I guess I can try and kill this shark. Wow. All right, I'll take a 1 1 shark over a 4 4 shark. Exile Season Pyromancer. Play Clothis. This is a pretty ridiculous game. <clears throat> How can you have... I mean, I've only had four lands. It's the complete opposite of what I played against last game. It is probably better to flood than it is to not have anything. Another prismatic ending. It's just unstoppable prismatic endings.
I guess I'll play this. Send my own stuff back. They have ten cards in hand. All right, that's enough. Yeah, so we have one extreme to the other. You know, where I have way too many lands, game one. <coughs> game two, I don't have anything. Man, these endurance are actually pretty shitty. Um, probably just bring these sprawls back in. I don't have boil. If I had boil, I'd bring that in a second, but I don't. So, the endurances just don't work. They work for me one time, and that's why I think they still work, but they just don't. All right, let's see how bad the hands are this time. <clears throat> Just sit and wait to do anything. No fetch, just gonna sit. Let's see if I can't draw some. Okay, another land, that's fine. I would assume whatever I play is gonna get counterspelled. Try Blood Moon here. I would assume this is being counterspelled. I mean, why would it not? This doesn't even make any sense for it to be sitting here this long. Opponent is just slow rolling the. What? Huh? Maybe he's got a basic, I don't know. Yeah, he's got a basic, and he's going to prismatic end it. Right? Maybe he can't. I don't know. All right, now it's time for some Bloodbraid action. Come on, Bloodbraid, how about a pillage to hit that plains? Be happy about that. It's an Arbor Elf, you know, it's relatively weak. But, you know, now I have more mana. See this basic island. Adds Kahira. What is going on here? There we go. It's an evoke solitude. What did he exile? Kahira? I guess so. He, he used Kahira to evoke. Wow! Gets rid of my Arbor Elf. What? Alright. It's fine with me. Uh, swing for three, play Cinder Vines. I want to have Cinder Vines out here just because it becomes such a pain on them. <clears throat> uh, 
to have to deal with dealing one damage every time they cast a spell, basically. I wonder if he's got multiple solitudes. Nah, if he had multiple solitudes, he would have done it right there, too. It saved himself three life. And I believe he missed a land drop. Just... Wow! That was such a strange match. Such a strange match against blue eye control. I, I... What else can I say? I mean, the, the game one, I had every land in my deck on I had no fetchable lands for multiple turns. And I managed to pull that one out. Game two, I had nothing. I mean, I had a just, I couldn't find a land to save my life. And in this game, opponent apparently couldn't do anything. I don't know what kind of hand they would have kept. They just died to Blood Moon on turn three. It wasn't even on, you know, ahead of schedule. Strange. Very strange. All right. Two and two here. Let's see if I can't finish. Do the reverse. Go a three and two. I'd love to do it. You all know I would. Um, how many places are called Palm Beach? Got to be a lot of places called Palm Beach. Right? Palm Beach, Florida. There's Palm Beach, California. Right? Oh, let me look. I'm going to look this up right now. Palm Beach. How many Palm Beaches are there in the United States? Florida, Illinois. Never mind. There's only two. All right. Uh, yeah, I can keep it. It's a good mix. I'm going first, right? Yeah, so. <coughs> uh, yeah, let's play Stomping Ground Tapped. And see what the opponent's up to. Polluted Delta. I wonder if this is like Grix's Shadow with no Luris. Like the old, you know, Gurmag Angler and stuff. That'd be pretty interesting. Will he fetch for a basic? Yes. All right, so it might be uh, Murktide. Might be staring at Murktide here. No, no, this is a uh, reanimator. Okay, scavenging ooze. We're going to need your help, bud. Okay, um, Blood Moon or Ooze? Maybe I got counter spells? I guess I could do both. I guess we'll go Blood Moon. I did not like that. I guess I can't do both. What am I talking about? So five mana now. Let's 
try ooze here. Can't play Clothis because they can, you know, maybe potentially put some in the grave. Yeah, okay, consider. They put Watery Grave in the graveyard. Uh, no swing. How much is this to get it out? Five mana? I think we're looking pretty good if this ooze can make it. I can even maybe stomp something if I really need to. Uh, swing in here for three. And then we'll play Clothis. Apparently I don't like this either. It's a counter spell. And that's fine. Okay, Let's see what they discard. This Faithful Mending's pretty good. I haven't seen this version of this deck in a little while, where they're like really into counter spells and stuff. There's Archon. So that's going to get devoured. <laughs> the Prismatic Ending, folks. Good lord. Then we need that faithful mending as well. Just, I constantly die to that card. I mean, Prismatic Ending has, like, been the best card against me out of Modern Horizons 2. Like, it's just insane how good that card is. The opponent's basic lands from Zendikar. Good old classic Zendikar, huh? All right, that was a pretty good draw. Hopefully you can produce something. Come oh, on, Blood Braid. How about another ooze? Oh, Clothis. That's not bad. Still easily die here. Um... Swing for three. Do I want to play the Renin Six? I guess so. I mean, I can't do anything else. Just, I'm concerned about the Clothes being hit with a prophetic ending. You know? Like, I get killed by everything that's prismatic ending. I may just be straight up dead here, you know? Archon of Cruelty. They have Persist. It comes as a 5-5. Five, five. Sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker. I'm going to sacrifice Arbor Elf. I'm going to discard Bone Crusher. Uh, 
Unfortunately, there's no way for me to get that Archon into the graveyard and have Clothis eat it. I can kill Archon here. Pillage is going to have to wait. Um, yeah, this sucks. Uh, I guess none of these cards do anything out of the grave, right? Uh, I guess just eat Persist. Play Fury. Four damage. And then finish it off with Ren. And hope they don't have another Persist. Swing in for eight. Try to pillage that basic swamp, I think I like hitting. All right, let's see if they got another Persist. Even if they do, I'll just sacrifice Bloodbraid Elf. Of course. Yeah, you just sacrifice Bloodbraid. They go up to eight, down to six. They'll have to block the Fury. Okay, what else is this? Oh my god. What the fuck? They, they better not have a third persist again. Yeah, I mean, swing at them. They have to block. Now, I'm going to actually plus Ren, not kill the Teferi here. I'm going to plus. Grab Windswept Heath. Get another forest. I'm going to play Clothis. I'm going to play Blood Moon. Hopefully that's enough. I mean, do they have a third persist in a row? They pretty much. Yeah, they do. God damn it. What the fuck? Dude. What the fuck, man? Oh my god. I probably have to bolt the Teferi. At least I can negate their life gain here. So stupid. So fucking stupid. They have three persists in a fucking row. can't because it's a fairy god damn it fuck this fuck off i forgot that teferi could do that of course i forgot you know so i mean i just lost the game because they had three in a row you know when do i ever have three in a row of anything that's hella good you know it just doesn't happen just unreal absolutely unreal Why do I never get this fucking luck? How is it possible they had three in a row? It's just maddening.
Fury's too late. That's almost enough to... I would have killed that. Or both of them, they'd be at five. Yeah, they'd be at three. Yeah, same difference. Doesn't matter. Well, folks, I tried, but again, the opponents are just way better than me. They're just significantly way better than me. I mean, what am I even doing in my life? Why am I even doing... Why did I even stop playing Halo Infinite to play this? How can they have three in a row? They weren't even drawing many cards. It's not like they were doing multiple Archmage charms. They just actually had three in a fucking row. Uh, obviously, Relics and Endurances are in. Pillage is probably out. Maybe a couple Bone Crushers don't seem very good here. Chandra doesn't seem great either, though. So maybe Chandra needs to go out. I'll try this. good <clears throat> um, maybe my uh, sprawl get prismatic ended we'll see if it does looks like it yeah I mean <laughs> that's why I didn't play the relic first it's just a joke. I, I don't know how people have so many uh, prismatic endings. I mean, it's just constant. I mean, it's actual constant prismatic endings against me. It's very disturbing. That's all I can tell you. It's, it's just, it's constant. Hopefully I have another one. Right. They only have two lands. What? That's strange. I don't want to play Bloodbraid Elf. I want to try and. Because if I play Blood Raid Elf, my Relic, I can't, I can't exile anything. So I'm going to hold back a turn here. Just in case something happens that I'm not aware of can happen. I just, I want to be able to have Relic be able to exile the graveyards at all times. Alright, they're on cleanup. Look at these lands. Oh, I should have I should have uh, exiled that unmarked grave during their end step. That's my bad. Pyromancer, sure. Seems good. That that seems really good. All right, swing on in for three. I still drew a land. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right, Pyromancer is really good there because the Archon. You know, I can still get rid of the token. Prismatic ending on the Relic of Progenitus. Absolutely. Uh, might as well draw a card with it. It's a different sprawl. Now we get to see if they do um, if they do um, counter. Probably need to try Blood Moon here. Nope, let's swing for six. Two prismatic endings have already damaged me. Yeah, it's a counter spell here. Dovin's Veto. Okay. It's been a while I've seen that. All right, so this is the chance. If they have another land here, this is how we die. Um, yep. Now they have Persist. They go down up to seven. Up to seven, right? So gotta get rid of Chandra. Oh my god, come on! What the fuck is this fucking bullshit? Fucking useless fucking deck. I swear to God. It is, what the fuck? How much mana do I fucking need sometimes? This doesn't even make any fucking sense. How about a lightning bolt or something? A blood moon. It's a fucking a little late. So they block, they go to two, back up to five. I'm gonna go down to what, three. I need Bolt, Stomp, something, Bolt or Stomp. Folks, I'm done for the day. Um, that's going to do it. Um, that's going to do it, folks. I think I took out my stomps too because they're generally not great here. I'm really thinking about just getting rid of Bone Crusher Giant just because it's just not great. I should just put in like, you know, um, I should really put in that uh, one bolt 
from Theros. The lightning bolt that costs two. I, I don't remember what it's called, but really I should be putting that in there instead of that. Um, cost the same, deals one extra damage to any target, right? So, I mean, the only addition you have a bone crusher you have a four or three. I mean, it can sometimes help with damage, can't be prevented, but um, yeah. So again, guys, we lose the prismatic ending. Maybe it's lightning. Maybe it's lightning strike. I mean, that's the same card. All right, that's it. So the deck performed pretty poorly today. Um, in terms of, uh, well, it didn't perform bad. It's just opponents always had everything. I mean, that's the problem I run into. Is I watch other people play. Like I watch Reed Duke play a lot, and Reed never runs into opponents like this. He so once in a while does. You know, like in a league, maybe in two leagues, he'll have find one person of like ten opponents. Will have it where that wow they had actually had exactly everything they needed, um, but for me it's every opponent's that way. Every opponent has found a way to beat me. Three persists in a row basically there. Two prismatic endings. The first one didn't really matter that much, okay, but the second one lost me the game. Earlier today, uh, who was it? Uh, the hammer time, hat being able to naturally draw into a another second hammer. Um, you know, I mean, in that situation, if I was, I predicted they probably had a second hammer, but what can I do there? Am I supposed to just never attack ever again? Am I just supposed to sit back and wait till they draw the second hammer? You know, you've got to try and win the game. You know, you just can't be so scared that you just can't do anything. Um... Just really poor. Just really poor today. Just sideboard and everything. Uh, think about that game, that game uh, number two there. Right there. One Relic Regenitus out of five cards I side in. Out of five. And they didn't do anything. I mean, literally, they didn't do much. I mean, this kept him at bay for a little bit until he found Prismatic Ending. And then I never found another way to get out. And he immediately had the way out. As soon as he got rid of it, he had his combo. His little fucking, uh, little two-card combo. Because, I mean, he got to feel so good doing that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. So good. Two cards. Um, it, it's just, you know, I just, I don't see anybody else have this problem that I have. And I watch Reed Duke religiously. I watch him all the time. And I look and I say, how can he win so much? And it's because he doesn't face down the same opponents I do. I don't know if the opponents just let him win. I don't know if he only up, you know, shows his wins. But I just don't understand how he can always have opponents where it's like, looks like the opponent didn't top deck the lightning bolt there or the prismatic ending or whatever they're looking for. With me, I expect it. I demand it. I deserve it, whatever you want to call it, but I just don't get it. I don't think I did anything really too terribly wrong today. I mean, I'm sure there's things I could have done better, but I mean, how can how can you compete against three persists in a row? All right, guys, let's go do it for today. Two and three on the day. Um, you know, opponents luckier than shit. I got lucky once. They're all men. I got lucky where the opponent, uh, the blue eye control player in game three, I don't know what was going on with his hand. He kept a really bad hand that he thought he could draw out of. He, he couldn't. 
So I got lucky there, I guess, if you want to call that luck. Um, but, you know, uh, just really struggling here. To try and figure out what what I could have done better. I don't think there was anything I could have done better. You know, I mean, I think I made one mistake where I was too scared to kill two creatures with fury, which you got to understand where I'm coming from. Or if I did that, man, I would look like an idiot. Where all the creatures survived, and fury would have been evoked away. Uh, same with the Chandra. You know, with the Chandra, I think it makes sense. I, I don't think I played that wrong at all. Um, Yeah, it's just it's frustrating. You know, I just wish that things would go right. You know, I, I watch people play and they just they win automatically. I just watch them. It's like what? They had no resistance this entire league. I've watched Aspiring Spike and I'm like, this man, the opponent, two opponents out of the five he played in this league, never did anything. I mean, they played like you know, like a, a Ragavan and then it gets bolted or fatal pushed. And then they don't do anything the rest of the game, basically. That really matters. Yeah, they inquisitioned here, but, you know, I mean, like, who are these guys they're playing against? Who am I playing against? Where they're always getting the cards that they need every single time. I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go lay down and ponder about life in general. And uh, really disappointing. You know, I really thought that I had this reanimator guy in game one. I really thought I had him even in game two there for a little bit. I think it's just fine time for me to say that probably Pons is a really bad deck. And the only reason I'm halfway decent with it is because I play it so much. So I'm able to figure out, okay, this is what I need to draw. This is kind of the right sequence here. But this is incredibly laborious trying to win this. Um, so I'm not going to give up on it. I'm playing Ponce tomorrow for the rest of the week. Uh, but life is tough, you know, when you play these style of decks. I mean, people, they want easy wins. They want instant gratification. They want free pornography. And, uh, you know, that's what some of these decks provide them. I guess. I mean, I, I don't know. If I played, I'd probably lose every time. So, Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's content. I mean, it really wasn't that bad. It was just I can't believe that some of the things happened, happened. And, I mean, who was the guy that had the, uh, the, the prowess player, had the prismatic ending? He, that was the only card he could have had to, win, to, to stay alive. I mean, it's insane. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you watched on Twitch, please consider following. If you watch on YouTube, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific time for more Pawns of Action. Probably more deaths of Prismatic Ending. I mean, just straight up. We need to get a count. We, I need to have like 27 counters on the screen. How many times do I top deck land? How many times do I not top deck land? How many times do I get killed by Prismatic Ending? How many times do I mulligan? Uh, you know, how many times does the opponent have multiple bolts in the same hand? You know, how many Lurises are there? You know, I mean, I, I mean, the whole screen would just be covered with shit where it's just ridiculous. So, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'll be back tomorrow. Hope you guys stay safe. Uh, eat some good food, drink some good beverages, spend some time with your sweetheart. And I will see you guys all tomorrow at 4 Music Time for more of this, more Prismatic Endings. How many times has Pyromancer Master hit two lands? Yeah, that's... that's it didn't that one time today, and I think I still lost that game. I think I think I still lost. I think it was against Prowess, right? Where I had, like, what was it? Like, Fury and Bloodbraid Elf? That's pretty good. Fine, but... Ah. I just can't believe the Prismatic Endings. I just can't. Like, that is the best card against my deck. Against my deck here. Ponza. This deck you're looking at right now. Prismatic Ending is by far the best card they have printed in Modern Horizons 2 against me. Way better than Ragavan, way better than Dragon Race Chandler, way better than Solitude, Endurance, or Fury, or Grief, or whatever card, is Prismatic Ending. 
I used to be able to laugh and giggle as I put a Utopia Sprawl on a Forest turn one. That meant that turn two, I was going to have a three drop. It was guaranteed, usually. I mean, maybe once in a while something happened. I don't, I don't know every situation. But now it's like it's not guaranteed at all. Every deck I play today, by the way, guys, had white mana. All five were white mana decks. Hammer Time, Boros Prowess, Boros Stoneblade, Blue Eye Control, and Reanimator. Um, was it Esper Reanimator? All had white. So I was just completely under the gun by Prismatic Ending the entire day. I mean, like, fuck. All right, guys, that's enough ranting. I think I got it out. I'll go complain to my wife now about it, and she won't even know what I'm talking about, but it makes me feel better. Um, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern time, for more Ponza. All right, guys. Peace!